good. Oh. Hey, my God is good. Oh. My God is good. Let somebody oh. shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Come on, celebrate your maker. Celebrate, 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 celebrate. Yeah. You want the world to win. 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 Jesus, 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 Jesus
do this in my family. Begin to ask him this morning. Begin to ask him this morning. Begin to ask him this morning. And as you ask, keep believing that he will grant unto you as if asked. In Jesus' mighty name, we've prayed. Lord, behold your children this morning. We've gathered in your presence. Lord, even as our faces are different, so are our heart desires. Mighty God, we pray that you meet each and every one of us at the point of our knees in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we also pray that even as your word is going to come for this morning, that your word will meet us again at the point of our knees in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, I hide myself behind you, that you will minister your word to your people, and at the end, all glory will return to you in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Let's join my hands together for the Lord, even as we take our seats. You are all welcome to church this morning in Jesus' name. Um, first of all, I want to appreciate our Father in the Lord, our pastor here that is not here, but rather on an important assignment. Also the wife that is also on another important assignment all the ministers and workers, including we members, for this great privilege given to me to bring the word of God this morning. I do not take this privilege for granted. And I keep praying that God will keep increasing every one of us in Jesus' name. Um, we are in the month of May. And by the grace of God, this month has been declared a month of possibilities. And we are trusting God that this month will not end without us accomplishing great possibilities in Jesus' name. Briefly this morning, because of our time, we'll be looking at the topic, Guiding Against Vulnerabilities. Guiding against vulnerabilities. How to guide against those things that make us vulnerable. Those things that make us targets to not achieving possibilities. We'll be looking at how some of those things that act as hindrance against us achieving possibilities. And how do we protect ourselves? How do we guide ourselves against these things? Quickly, let us turn our Bible to the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 12. 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 12. 1 Corinthians chapter 10 and verse 12. We read from the screen. It says, Therefore, let the one who thinks he stands firm. In another word, let the one who thinks he's immune to temptation, he's being confident and self-righteous, take care that he does not fall into sin and condemnation. That is amplified version. Let's have King James Version. He says, Wherefore, let him that thinketh in standard take heed, lest he fall. You think you're strong. You think you're fame. You think you're an ardent believer. You think you're a righteous person. Yes, I go to church. I obey the word of God. Yes, in times of difficulties, the Lord has been coming through for me. When I pray, God has been answering my prayers. The Bible is telling us this morning in 1 Corinthians that if you think you're strong, you should as well take caution. You should as well, as well be careful so that you not fall into temptation. What does it mean to be vulnerable? To be vulnerable means that you are open to being hurt. 
You are open to being attacked. You are open to being influenced. Every little thing can bring you down. Every little thing can bring you down. You are in a position whereby every little thing can afflict you. That is what it means to be vulnerable. And quickly this morning, we'll be looking at three areas where we are vulnerable as Christians. Three areas, then we'll pray. The first area is when we are discouraged. When we are discouraged, at that point is the point where we are most likely to be attacked. We are most likely to fall into temptation. The Bible speaking in the book of Matthew chapter 26 from verse 69 to 75 talks about Peter. Jesus told him, Ah, Peter, you will deny me. And Peter, trusting himself, he believed in himself. He said, No, Master, I cannot do this. But at some point, in course of the trial of Jesus, he was discouraged. He was discouraged. Peter swore that he would never betray Jesus. But due to discouragement, he denied Jesus. Discouragement makes you say things you don't want to say. It makes you do things that you don't want to do. It makes you believe things that you don't want to believe. At most points when you're discouraged, you start questioning God. Ah, is God really existing? Why is these things happening to me? Why is these things happening to me? No wonder the Bible says in the book of Jude, chapter 1, from verse 20 to 22, he said, build yourselves on your most holy faith. We should build ourselves in the faith of God in all times. We should continually dwell in the love of God. Only so can we overcome this discouragement. The next area we are particularly vulnerable to is in times of excitement. When we are excited. When we are excited. At that point in time, we are open as well to do things we ought not to do out of carelessness. Bible speaking, in the book of Mark, Chapter 6, from verse 20 to 20, 26. It talks about King Herod. How he was excited by the dancing of a princess. And he made a promise because of excitement. Ask me of anything whatsoever, and I will do that unto you. And the Bible said the princess requested the head of John the Baptist. Because of excitement, he made the proclamation. And when she requested that the head of John the Baptist be given unto her, the Bible said Herod was troubled. He was troubled. Ordinarily, he never wanted to do it. But because he's the king, he has made the pronunciation. He sent a guard to behead John the Baptist. And the Bible recorded in Matthew chapter 6 that the king lived in regret. We should be careful when we are excited. We should be careful when we are excited and how you react. Don't just out of excitement begin to make promises. That's another area where we are being vulnerable. And the last area is in area of tiredness. When we are tired, when we are tired, is another opportunity for us to be open to attack. 
Bible speaking in the book of Exodus chapter, in the book of Genesis chapter 25. Genesis chapter 25 from verse 29 to 34. It talks about Esau. Esau was hungry. Esau was tired. Esau as well thought all hope was lost. And he gave out his birthright. Now, birthright in the days of Israel simply means more than half. More than half. About two thirds of your father's possession. If you have right to the birthright, if you're the first son, you have over two thirds of your father's possession. Then one part of it that is remaining will be shared among the other persons. But because of tiredness, he looked at what was immediate and forgot about what comes later in the future. Weakness can make us lose perspectives of the future. But the Bible is saying this morning, in 1 Corinthians, Chapter 10, verse 12, where we read that he who thinks he's standing firm, he who thinks he's strong, he who thinks he's upright, should always take caution. Should always take caution. We should always be careful lest we fall. I pray God will help us this morning. To always guide ourselves against these areas in Jesus' name. Let us bow our heads as we pray. We've heard the word of God this morning. Some of us were particularly vulnerable in some of these areas. Some of us were victims that when we are discouraged, we fail to trust in God. Some of us as well, when we are excited, we are always in a position to make rash decisions. Some of us, when we are tired, we are always too quick to question God about our situation. This morning, I want us to bow our heads and pray that God should help us in terms of vulnerabilities. That God should help us in times of temptation not to fall. That God should help us in times of trial to always stand firm. Lift up your voice and begin to pray this morning. Lift up your voice and begin to pray this morning. Lift up your voice and begin to pray. God, this is the area that I'm particularly vulnerable to attacks. Help me in this area. Some of us can be in times when we have plenty. And in those times, we begin to make hasty decisions. We begin to live lavishly. We begin to forget the place of God in our lives. Lift up your voice and pray this morning for God to help us. Lift up your voice and begin to pray this morning for God to guide your heart. In Jesus' mighty name, we've prayed. Mighty God, King of glory, behold your children this morning. They've come before you and they've prayed that you help them, O oh Lord, as they are vulnerable. Lord, we pray that you keep each and every one of us strong in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, we pray that you always protect each and every one of us from temptations in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, mighty God, because we know this and many more you will do for us. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. And amen. Hallelujah to Jesus. Let's stretch forth our hand and pray for him. Let God.
protect him from every vulnerability. Let God preserve him. Let God guide him against every vulnerability. Let God increase his grace and anointing. Pray for him that he will do better this time that God will use him better. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. It's time for offering. According to the word of God, in Luke chapter 6, verse 38, it says, Give, and it shall be given unto you. Good measure, pressed down, and shaken together. And running over shall men give into your bosom. For with the same measure that thou metest without, shall be measured to you again. If you have your tithe, please come forward with your tithe. Titus, please. If you have your tithe. Okay. If there is no Titus, let's rise up with your offering. Rise up with your offering. Let's give God that honor. We want to offer to him. Talk to God this morning. Father, we thank you for the offering in our hands. Lord, as we give, may our heavens be open. Let that be over. Let that be overflow. Bless us in Jesus' name. Amen. I'll be taking him one one five. Him one one five. I found a friend in Jesus, the first and the last stanza. Is everything to me. He's the face of ten thousand to my soul. He's the lily of the valley. He will come All I need to cleanse and make me fully whole. In soul is my comfort. In trouble is my soul. He tells me every day. Hallelujah! Praise the lily of the valley, the bright and morning star. He's the fairest of ten thousand to my soul. Forsake me when why I live by faith and do is not with me. A wall of fire above me, I've nothing now to fear. With this man, he's my hungry soul shall be. Don't sleep enough to glory to see his blessed face. With me, that's all the light shall ever hold. With the lily of the valley, the bright and morning star, with the face of ten thousand to my soul. May kindly regain your seats. It's an, it's announcement time. Quickly, let's just do well to listen to the following announcement. Do we have anyone fellowship with us for the very first time on a Sunday like this? Today is your first Sunday of fellowship with us. Do we have anyone like that who would like to welcome you specially? Anyone like that? All right, praise God. Let's listen to the following announcement. Every Sunday we have two power pack services here in this place. The first service starts by 7.30 a.m. And immediately after that, we go into our Sunday school, which is what we are expected to do immediately after this first service. Second service, the time is 9.15 a.m. And then, our house fellowship tags Youth Connect holds as well every Sunday. Every Sunday, our house fellowship comes up by 5 p.m. We have three different centers. 
There's a center here in church, another center at our mommy's um, house, mommy Barine, and then our deaconess house. Um, the time for our deaconess's house is by 3 p.m., as we already know. And then our midweek service, Dark Price Restaurant holds every Wednesday by 5.30 p.m. Let's do well to avail ourselves the opportunity of being here. And then Our Mercy holds every Friday. The time again is 5.30 p.m. Our Mercy is the time we come here to pray in seeking God's face. And as you do so this coming Friday, the Lord will richly bless you in Jesus' name. Evangelism holds every second and last Saturday. Time again is 4 p.m. Let's do it to attend. Worship service, worship service holds. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Worship service holds next. It's supposed to be today. Am I right? Or next Sunday. All right. Today. Choir. When is... Um, today is the last Sunday now. All right. Bishop has said that um, it has been shifted. Praise the Lord. <laughs> Hallelujah. All right, this is very important. Good morning, Holy Spirit. Good morning, Holy Spirit. Good morning, Holy Spirit. If you are in this place and you've been fellowship with us for a very long time, you know that every first day of a new month, we come here for what we call Good Morning, Holy Spirit. And by the grace of God, on Thursday, the 1st of June, we shall be gathering here once again for our good morning, Holy Spirit, the time for that program is 6 a.m. You are welcome and go out and invite people. Even as you invite them, the Lord's name will be praised in Jesus' name. All women and sisters are reminded of their provincial program. Praise the Lord. I think then the programs are as follows. Picnic is on Monday, the 12th of June, 2022. There will be a crusade on the 16th and the 17th at Ogeniba. Then Covenant Advantage on 23rd to 25th June. Praise the Lord. For more details, um, I think you can meet a deaconess in the house and then she will do where to furnish us with the details. Those that are to feed the children for next month should please do where to meet a deaconess and comply. You know what to do. So if you know your name is supposed to be out of those that are feeding the children for next month, I think they are for June it's going to be brother Broemeka, Sister Esther, Profevo, Mommy Angela, and then Daddy Kelechi. If they are not in church, do well to inform them. The Lord bless us in Jesus' name. If there is any other announcement, I think we'll do it in the second service. For now, let's go over to Sunday school. So let it, I'm going to have just one class. So let everybody come over to this place. Please, let's just come over to this place. Let's go. As I'm standing here, please, those that are in this angle, just go over to this time. There is no time. We have eaten deep into Sunday school time. I was supposed to have a little exam today so let's just cross over to this side thank you very much <laughs> 